Hello and welcome back to Art Club. Today is the day where we get to really have fun with um, this project that we've been working on. We've got our face drawn, right? The emotions are on it. But today we get to add the crazy fun hair to it. It's going to be some windblown hair as you're about to find out. So we are going to be using watercolor paint for this. Because of that, we want to make sure we're getting our art space set up. I tend to like to use um, a paper bag that I just kind of cut up and spread out. Um, maybe you've got a special tablecloth, maybe cardboard, whatever you use in your home, feel free to get that out. Um, it is watercolor paint, so it is washable. Um, but I always think it's a smart idea to put on some kind of a smock or um, if I don't have a smock, sometimes I'll just turn my shirt inside out because I don't want to have to worry about like what happens if it doesn't come out all the way in the wash. So um, get set up for that first. We'll also, of course, want all of our watercolors out. So the watercolor paint, the paintbrush, the water, all that good stuff. And what watercolor project isn't complete without a straw, of course, right? Wait a second. We don't usually use a straw to water, watercolor paint, but we are today because we're going to be using our breath to blow the watercolor, thus the windblown hair for our caricature. So go ahead and get set up if you haven't already. We are about to begin. Um, so our project today is going to end up looking something like this. This is my surprise girl. Woo, right, she's surprised. Um, and you can see she's got some fun and funky hair going on here. So how do we make this happen? Well, I'm going to do a little switcheroo back to this guy. Um, so what we're going to do first is activate a watercolor cake. So what I mean by activate is right now when we open it up, you know, it's the watercolor or the, yeah, the watercolor cake is hard, right? So we need to turn it paint like by adding in lots of water. So I am going to add in between seven and 10 brushes full. Do you see how I keep dabbing in the water and then adding it to my watercolor? And I'm going to, once I've got a lot in there, so it's kind of pooled in there, I am going to activate it by stirring it up. So I've got the water in. Now I'm stirring, 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 and keep going. We want to make sure that the water that I've added to the watercolor cake is highly pigmented um, so that there's lots of color in it. That's what that means. And I also want to make sure I'm noticing it's still a little bit more uh, almost jelly-like than watery and I want to make sure it is quite watery. Um, as you are about to experience, um, once we get going with this portion of the project, if our watercolor is too thick, it makes us push really hard with our breath through the straw, which can make us get a little bit dizzy. We don't want that, so definitely make sure that your watercolor is watery enough, but yet yeah, we want it highly pigmented by stirring it, okay? So once I can pick up my brush and see that there is a good amount of um, color on there, I know that it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna set this down over here and I'm going to kind of imagine where the top of this head would be. And I am going to add, as we'll start over on this side. Doesn't matter which side you start on. I'm just going to start over here though. Notice how I'm putting all of the paint into one particular area. I'm not using my brush to spread it out. I'm just kind of making a big blob of paint right here. I'm ready to go. Setting my paintbrush down. I am grabbing my straw. I am using a reusable straw that I already had at home, um, but you can use the ones that came in our art kit or whatever you feel most comfortable with. I'm taking a deep breath in, and then I use my breath to move the watercolor paint around. All right, that's looking pretty cool. Maybe if I want to move it even a little bit more, I might choose to do that, but notice it goes right all the way to the edge of the paper there. I am going to grab some more of my red watercolor. I can choose to either have all the hair the same color, or if I want to maybe, um, you know, put it in various spots throughout, because I may be intending to have multiple colors of hair on here. You totally can. 
Once again, another deep breath in and And I just think it's so fun how every time you do this, each of those breaths is going to make the watercolor turn out differently. So I'm going to continue to do this throughout the whole top of the head here. Um, and once again, I can choose to keep it all the same color, or I can choose to add various colors just like this. So that's going to be totally up to you. Probably the hardest part is setting it aside though once you're done to let it dry before hanging it up. That being said, once you are finished with your um, project for today, don't forget to come back on into our slides and open up the hall of frame. So that once again, the hall of frame is just going to be right at the lower bottom right corner of our slides and claim a frame by putting in your name. Go on up to where it says insert choose image and camera that will allow you to take a picture right with your Chromebook. It takes five seconds or less to add it on into the frame. And that's a great way for us to get to share with each other and for you to get to look at everybody else's artwork as well. As an added reminder, um, photos that are added to our Hall of Frame each month have the opportunity of potentially being in the end of the year art show. So make sure throughout our time together in Art Club that you are adding photos into there. Um, it's just a great way for us to be able to share our artwork with each other. Finally, um, another thing, just a tip for next club period is that we will have the option to either create another one of these guys or to continue working on the one you're working on today if you'd like to um, or you could choose that once we create our face for tomorrow you could choose to add leaves to it instead of using the watercolor so if you want to get outside and go for a walk collect some leaves and maybe flatten them between some books so those are ready to go for tomorrow you're going to have the option to do either or Whatever you choose, it's going to be fun, and I cannot wait to see you then. Bye, guys.